whilst all the cool kids are listening to Kanye West, my phone has been filled with the Gundam Mill Fighters, Game of Laplace, and Yatama Knight soundtracks to name just a few. Opposed to anime openings and endings, these tracks are written with a certain scene in mind, and it's a great way to relive these moments. For example, what you're listening to right now is track 8 from Yuki Hayashi's Soul to Not OST, and not only is it a really sweet, energetic track, but it calls back to when it was used in the show with Tsugumi discovering her power as a weapon. So, here are some of the people that bring our favourite shows to life with some great tunes. It's a great time to be a fan of anime music. With new composers entering the industry and showing their stuff, we're treated to a whole variety of musical styles and backgrounds. So why not start with one of the industry's most hopeful new composers whose piano melodies have captured our hearts time and time again. Born in the small village of Omi in 1982, Misaru Yakiyaba graduated from the National Institute of Technology at Nagano College and later the Kunitachi College of Music with a degree in music composition. Originally taking works on J-drama, he was eventually brought on to Arakawa Under the Bridge in 2010 where he composed the track that you're listening to right now. However, whilst Arakawa was a leaping point, Yokoyama's agency got him a lot of other jobs, particularly with NHK Broadcasting, including the theme tune to this new show, Close Up Modern Plus. America Trump Back to anime, and with Yokoyama doing a lot of work on TV dramas, we didn't really hear from him for a while. He was doing some Queen's Blade music and freezing in 2011, but it wasn't until 2015 that Yokoyama really burst onto that anime stage, and suddenly, we couldn't get enough of him. Breaking hearts with Your Lion April, covering the blue hearts for the Rolling Girls, and breaking even more hearts for Plastic Memories, Yokoyama was here to stay, and whilst he was very clear that his speciality was these moving piano tracks that we got in Your Lion April and Yamada-kun, he had some other tricks up his sleeve. Whether it's the rustic battle themes of Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans, the bizarre driving mystery tunes of Game of Laplace, or even the eerie piano compositions of this season's Moyoiga, Masaru Yokoyama has proven in just a year that he's one of anime's most valuable musical talents. And speaking of brilliant pianists, meet Hiroyuki Sawano. Commonly known for his huge loud instrumental explosions, there's two important things you need to know about Sawano. Firstly, he seriously looks like a magician. And secondly, the titles of his tracks are all written in an alien language that only he can decipher. Like Yokoyama, Sawano got his big launch into composing through drama series. In particular, I'm talking about Team Medical Dragon. Apparently that's meant to be a medical drama? Anyways, being one of the most popular anime composers amongst Western fans, one of the common criticisms against him is that most of his work is incredibly similar. Recruited by human loudspeaker Tetsuro Araki for three shows, producers and directors have a very particular expectation from him that often deviates from his roots as a musician. Because as I mentioned, Sawano is a pianist. This is AZP1 at N. It's track 6 from the second Aldenoa Zero OST. And while Sawano is an incredible pianist, he's not given the opportunity to show it on much of the rest of his range. Born in Tokyo, he first got interested in music at elementary school when he bought the Dragon Quest soundtrack. Later graduating from music school, he was adamant that he wanted to compose background music, leaving his job at a music company until he was hired as Legendor's first composer in 2006. 
Alex. Then, somewhat ironically, despite him going so far to do background music, he ended up launching a vocal project in 2014. The Cabinary of the Iron Fortress ED is actually one of his works, and it's a great example of Sawano's piano work, something he's been practicing since he was a child. <laughs> But not all composers started out pursuing a career in music, because Yuki Hayashi used to be a rhythmic gymnast. Whilst in university, he picked up music composition as a way of creating music for performances, charging people the equivalent of $50 for one of his tracks. It was only when he started getting requests from outside the university that he started to see it as a potential career path. After graduating, he trained to be a gymnastics composer, but his talent didn't let him stick with just that. Composing for various sports, he was eventually scouted by Legendor and brought onto various J-dramas, and after a while, his first anime, Robotics Notes. A departure from what he was used to, Hayashi keeps the energy of his sports work and transcribes it into a new context. Working together with Alharu Cross Machine Guns composer Asami Tachibana on many of his works, he's able to increase his output whilst creating really unique and strong tracks, some of which you're no doubt hearing on My Hero Academia and Kiss Naiva this season. The apprentice of Gundam Zeta composer Shigiaki Saigusa, Crest of the Stars composer Katsuhisa Hattori, and Macross composer Kentaro Haneda, Tatsuya Kato was always going to end up composing anime. Graduating from the film scoring program at the Tokyo College of Music, when he went to work on Daybreak Illusion, his music was described by the staff as good, delicate and warm sounds, such as piano and string arrangements, all combined with electro sounds. The author was even quoted as saying, Tatsuya Kato's body of work are masterpieces. And that's not exactly a unique opinion, with Kato being one of Lantis' most popular composers, being brought onto free Shokugeki no Soma, Yasuma Knight, and Fate Khalid, just to name a few. Out of all of the composers in this video, Kato most suits the title of anime composer, with most of his work being on anime, and as far as I can tell, as a member of Lantis, he's never worked on a TV drama. You can hear more of Tatsuya Kato on next season's Shokugeki no Soma, which is guaranteed to be fucking great. Thanks for watching the first part of a guide to anime music composers. This will be a five part series since I didn't want to cut anyone out. Part two will be out soon, covering some more cool figures in anime music. But if you want cool anime tunes right now, I recommend at AnimeOSTBot on Twitter, which was set up by my friend Jonas. Oh, and as a bonus, here is a picture of Masaru Yukiyama, Yuki Hayashi, and Tatsuya Kato hanging out like regular dudes. Sawano isn't there though, he's probably busy doing magic for children's parties. <laughs>